Your protection at the airport put into question by Homeland Security's own hands. ABC News first broke this story yesterday, and today, the fallout. A lot of it. The head of TSA resigning. A lot of reviews are said to be coming. All this after 95% of smuggled in weapons and bombs in a mock drill test made it past screeners at the airport. With this latest information, we want to know in our KSAT People Poll tonight if this makes you uneasy about flying. Yeah, and I went to the airport today to see if it was affecting the mood of travelers, only to learn that most of them had not even heard the news yet. Traveling blind. That's how you might characterize what's happening at U.S. airports today after Homeland Security's own testing showed a massive security breach. 67 out of 70 weapons going undetected. It wasn't just weapons in bags. A person actually walked through a TSA checkpoint with a fake bomb strapped to their back. It wasn't detected, even with a pat down. Homeland Security is calling for a full investigation and review of the rules. And so are travelers, most of whom were in the dark on TSA's poor testing while in the air today. I have not heard of that report. Um, Did I just change your whole perception <laughs> about your trip? <laughs> um, a little bit, a little bit. Um, I'm glad I got here safely, so I guess that's a positive. That's crazy. I mean, anybody can get through with anything. And it's scary. And Diaz and Marty Kaiser just got off a plane at one o'clock. On some level, when you get caught for something really silly, like you try to sneak a jar of jelly in your suitcase and they confiscate your jelly, you think, come on guys, it's jelly. But then how do people get on with like, you know, a gun? It doesn't make any sense. Echoing that thought, this family fresh off a plane, unaware until now. They make you like take off your shoes, your bed, everything, and then what's the use of doing that? Very unsettling there. Chances, changes are already on the way for the TSA, including the search for a new director, the acting director resigning today. And the new one will be asking some questions as to what all is failing, the agents, the screening equipment, the methods, or most probably all of the above. Mm -hmm. And right now our People Poll says 54% uh, of you are a little uneasy about flying after this news came out. Yeah, the final actually 57 to 43. So... The recent report is having an impact on how people feel about traveling. There you have it.